welcome back to our channel today we have an exciting topic for the all the molecular biology enthusiasts out there and that is electrophoretic mobility shift assay or imsa in the current video i'll explain to you the principle of the imsa how it works and its importance in the protein dna interaction study if you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated on all our upcoming videos so let's get started imsa has a several names like gel shift assay or electrophoretic mobility shift assay or gel retardation assay it is a powerful and widely used technique in molecular biology to study protein dna interactions it allows us to investigate how proteins bind to specific dna sequences so coming to the principle of the imsa the native principle of agarose gel electrophoresis has been utilized to study the interaction and chemistry between nucleic acid and various amino acid complexes when the nucleic acid linked and unlinked samples are loaded in a polyacrylamide gel and run under an electric field with standard gel running conditions a mobility shift is observed depending upon the size of the sample which is any protein bound to the dna differential migration speed will be seen so the unlinked nucleic acid runs faster than the protein linked one this lower migration speed results in the shift of bands and differential banding patterns when we need some specific dna linked protein we can bind it with a specific antibody of that protein of interest which we want to look exactly it linked with dna or not that complex will show more slower migration than the protein linked one and this situation called the super shift now come to the assay procedure first step is to generate dna probes which is usually designed to contain the dna sequence of interest and then secondly the protein of interest is extracted and purified from cells or tissues it can be a transcription factor or a binding or, or a dna binding protein or any other protein that interacts with dna and then this protein purified protein is mixed with the labeled dna probes in a test tube if the protein specifically binds to the dna sequence in the probe a protein dna complex will form and then these samples will be loaded into wells of an electrophysis gel and the gel is typically made of polyacrylamide gel or it can be a, a agarose gel when an electric field or electric current is applied to the gel the dna molecules both in free form or in complex form with the protein move through the gel since the protein dna complex is larger and more massive than free dna it migrates slow it migrates more slowly through the gel matrix and that phenomenon is called a shift after electrophoresis the gel is stained with a suitable dye like ethidium bromide or kumasi blue to visualize the dna bands and a protein dna complexes using appropriate imaging techniques the band can be detected and analyzed then by comparing the migration pattern of the protein dna complex and free dna we can determine whether the protein binds to the dna probe and investigate the protein binding specificity affinity and conditions that influence the interaction electrophoretic mobility shift assay offers several advantages that make it a valuable and widely used technique in molecular biology research some of the main advantages of imsa include sensitivity that imsa is a highly sensitive technique we can detect even weak protein dna interaction too specificity we can determine the specificity of protein dna interactions by using different dna probes or mutant dna sequences we can confirm whether the observed binding is sequence specific or non specific imsa can provide semi quantitative data about the strength of protein dna interactions by comparing the intensity of protein dna complexes to free dna bands we can estimate the binding affinity of the protein for its target dna it can be adapted for various applications using this assay we can study transcription factor binding to specific dna sequences dna protein interactions rna protein interactions and even rna rna interactions too 
Insight is a relatively quick and straightforward technique. It can be performed within a few hours, making it convenient for preliminary screening experiments or when rapid results are required. IMSA requires only small amounts of purified protein and labeled DNA props, making it cost effective and suitable for studies with limited sample availability. While radioactive labeling of DNA props was, history or hist was historically used in IMSA, nowadays non radioactive labeling techniques such as using fluorescent dyes have become more prevalent. This makes the technique safer and easier to handle. The results of IMSA are visualized directly on a gel whether we observe the DNA protein complexes and interpret the results in real time. IMSA can be combined with supershift assay or analysis where specific antibodies against the protein of interest are added to the reaction mixture. This allows for the identification of individual proteins in the protein DNA complex which provides additional insights into the composition of protein complexes. Overall, IMSA is a versatile and valuable tool that offers unique advantages in studying protein DNA interaction and other molecular interactions. It provides essential information about DNA binding proteins and their roles in gene regulation, transcriptional control, and other biological processes which contribute significantly to our understanding of cellular mechanisms. IMSA is a powerful technique, but it also has some limitations. IMSA is an in vitro technique which is studies protein DNA interaction outside the context of living cells. While it provides valuable information about the direct binding of proteins to DNA, the condition in the test tube may not fully reflect the complexity and dynamics of interaction within a cellular environment. IMSA typically examines the interaction of a single protein with a labeled DNA probe. In reality, cellular processes often involve multiple proteins and complex regulatory networks. IMSA may not capture the entirety of these interactions. IMSA requires relatively harsh conditions including high salt concentrations and the use of detergents to prevent non-specific interactions. These conditions may not fully mimic the physiological environment within the cells and that affects the binding behavior of some proteins. The choice of DNA probe length and sequence may influence the binding behavior of proteins. Short probe might not encompass all relevant binding sites, while longer probes may introduce complexities in the interpretation of results. While IMSA is sensitive technique, it might not detect weak or transient protein DNA interactions which are essential for some biological processes. The success of IMSA depends on the quality of the purified protein sample. Improper protein purification or storage conditions can lead to a inaccurate results. IMSA is not ideal for high throughput screening of large protein libraries, libraries due to the time and labor involved in the preparing and running individual assays. While supershift analysis can help identify specific protein components in DNA protein complexes, the interpretation of supershift results might be complex due to antibody specificity and the presence of multiple protein isoforms. In some cases, IMSA can yield complex band patterns, making it challenging to interpret the results accurately. Despite these limitations, IMSA remains a valuable and widely used technique in molecular biology. We often combine IMSA with other methods such as uh, chromatin immunoprecipitation or chip assay or reporter assays to gain a more comprehensive understanding of protein DNA interactions and their relevance in the cellular context. IMSA has a numerous application in molecular biology and has been extensively used to study protein DNA interactions. IMSA is commonly used to study the binding of transcription factors to specific DNA sequences in gene promoter regions. By using labeled DNA probes containing putative transcription factor binding sites, we can determine which transcription factors interact with these regulatory elements. IMSA helps to identify and characterize various DNA binding proteins, including transcription factors, nucleases, and DNA repair enzymes, 
it provides valuable information about their binding specificity affinity and potential roles in gene regulation and other cellular processes insect can be used to investigate interaction between proteins and other nucleic acids such as rna it allows us to examine rna binding proteins and their binding sites within the rna molecule imsa combined with super shift analysis allows us to investigate protein complexes formed between multiple proteins and dna by using specific antibody against individual proteins we can identify the components of these complexes imsa can be used to screen for novel regulatory elements within our dna sequence such as enhancer or silencers by probing the dna with labeled protein samples potential protein dna interactions can be detected imsa can be used to assess the impact of dna mutation or sequence variation on protein binding by comparing the mobility of wild type and mutated dna probes we can determine if the mutation affects protein binding affinity or not imsa is a valuable tool in drug development especially for screening a potential compound that can inhibit or modulate protein dna interactions it helps ident- it helps to identify molecules that disrupt transcription factor binding which may have therapeutic implications imsa can be used to study the impact of epigenetic modifications such as dna methylation or histone modification on protein dna interactions it provides insight into how these modification affect gene regulation imsa can be adapted to analyze dna protein cross linking which is useful for studying protein dna adducts formed due to dna damage or drug interactions Overall IMSA is a versatile technique that plays a crucial role in understanding the molecular mechanism of gene regulation cellular processes and various disease states it, app- it its applications extend to diverse fields ranging from basic research to clinical studies and drug discovery so this is the end of the video thank you for joining us if you found this video informative don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more dna science content So stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of DNA. Take care. Bye bye.